Hi guys, JP from FSI Panel. Welcome to this short video where I will show you how to fly quick approaches using FSI Panel 2020 Standard Edition and the Ezobo ATR42 or ATR72-600 series. I will show you how to be airborne on short final within less than a minute and how to practice quick approaches with the FSI Panel. Before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. All right, so the first thing you want to do, as always with FSI panel, is to select the correct aircraft. So here I pick up the ATR-72-600 Air Tahiti uh, livery, and we are going to select uh, the airport. So let's go to Papete, NTAA, Tahiti, and we are going to select runway 04, and I would like to be flying during the day, my approaches and I will have the live weather condition. So that's what you need to do and click fly. The aircraft will load up in the default state and from there we will be able to start FSI panel and program our approach. All right, here we go. The simulator is ready, so I'll click on ready to fly. And as you can see now, the ATR is starting up in the default cockpit state and we have engines running. The flaps are 15. We have uh, nothing in the FMC, FMS. So we have the FMS source on both sides. Basically, we are not ready at all to fly a short final. But FSI panel is there for that, so I will show you what you can do. If you want to change the payload now to vary the weight, you can go ahead and, vary and change the, the payload as you wish before you start FSI panel to have the correct weight for your training. Here, I'm just going to use the default weight that we have right now, and I will position the aircraft. So let's start FSI panel. So when FSI panel starts, it should detect right away the airport. So in that case, November Tango Alpha Alpha. The runway, 04. If you want to change the runway, you can go ahead and click on the uh, runway tab, then you will get the METAR. You can see right now that we have wind variable 2 knots, few cloud, 23 degrees, 1016. Runway 04 as an ILS, so I will select Runway 04. And then, if you are familiar with FSI panel, you know that you can select any kind of position. Even on Pilot Waypoint, if you use the Select Fix, you can really customize anything you want. But for today's video, I just want to show you how to fly, for example, a short final. So if I go to short final, the position summary tells us that we should be on the ILS runway 04 at 4 nautical miles and the altitude should be 1000 feet. So basically this is just to uh, practice your landing. So I'm ready to go, I'll click move aircraft and then remember that once you click this button, you should not interfere with the simulator unless FSI panel asks you to do something. So let's try that, move aircraft. Alright, so we go in the sim, the first thing you will see here is the flaps moving to flaps 30. This is our landing flaps on the ATR. We have the parking brake set. We have the idle gate set. So FSI panel will take care of that. And then the aircraft goes in the air. Now remember that this aircraft doesn't have any auto throttle. So you need to adjust your power to maintain the speed above the bug. So this is what I'm doing right now. FSI panel has set the autopilot. And now FSI panel is setting, as you can see, the uh, FMS. So if we look into the FMS, FSI panel will set the approach for us. So right now we are expecting the approach to be inserted. That's done. And now the aircraft will go down to 1000 feet before we take the control. So if I go back to my captain seat to show you that, we can see that we have the ILS frequency set. You can see that we have the two bearing inserted. The power management is on takeoff, the flaps at 30, so basically everything is set and we have the routing. So that looks good. We will just leave the aircraft reaching 1000 feet, which is the case right now. Make sure you had some power to maintain the uh, correct indicated airspeed. And now FSI panel tells you, aircraft is ready, hold your brake for 3 seconds to take control. That's done. You can fly the approach. Now what's happening, we are in a position freeze, as you can see. So you have plenty of time now to cross-check the settings that you have the correct ILS set, that the course is correct. You can set your minimum if you want to set your minimum. You can update 
your FMC. Right now, if you look at that, you can see that the waypoint we are flying to is behind us because we selected short final, so this is not very good. So what we're going to do, just direct to the MA04, execute, and now in case of missed approach, I have the correct routing. Okay, so I'm going to hold my brake three seconds now. One, two, and three. FSI panel tells me that I have the control. I just arm the approach. And off we go. Localizer is captured. Glide slope is alive. Runway is in front of us. And we can go ahead and do the landing. As easy as that. Okay, glide slope captured. We are going down now for the ILS. After landing, we are trying. We will try a position for vectors. Vectors for the ILS ER04, and you will see that uh, this is with uh, flaps up as the aircraft is slowing down very quickly. So very easy to do. Autopilot off. Let's do the landing, and then I'll show you the landing report. And after that, we try another position. Going down now on the profile. The speed is way too high. I have to correct that. We'll try to do a landing at the end of the touchdown zone, so we get the report saying that the landing is a bit long. 50 feet over the threshold. And now I refuse the ground, typical mistake. And I will be touching down at around 800 meters. Okay, let's go down now. Boom, I should be just within limits or even out of limit. The idea here was on purpose to show you the landing report. Okay, so let's stop here on the runway. And I will set the parking brake and we will have a quick look at the landing report. So up, parking brake, set. Let's go on to FSI panel. Landing report and as expected, we are out of the touchdown zone. So here you can see your localizer deviation, lateral deviation, so as expected, out of tolerance. Good, so we did the first approach. Now the aircraft is still sitting on ground. I didn't touch anything. And here what we could do is try a second approach if we want to, or let's say we would like now vectors for the uh, ILS. So vectors will be with flaps up and we should have the speed at around 170 knots. So let's go on FSI panel and program that. So we saw that we have terrain here on final, so I will select left and vectors. And here you can see that the aircraft should be at 2,300 feet on the vectors to intercept the ILS-04 at eight nautical miles. I'm ready to go, move aircraft. In the simulator, what we will see, the flaps moving up. So FSI panel is now waiting for the flaps to move up. Then it will remove the uh, Landing gear, if we oh sorry, not the landing gear, the parking brake, sorry, if required, and then it will bring the aircraft in the air. So let's wait for that. The gear should go up this time. So here we are, gear up. Now again, no auto throttle, so I'm adjusting here my power lever to make sure I have the correct speed. The gear is going up, and now FSI panel is taking care of the FMS, as you can see, entering the approach. So it will select the ILS-04. And now as we have the uh, eight miles final, you can see that the track looks good. That's quite nice. We are on a heading to intercept 30 degrees. And what FSI panel is waiting now is for the altitude to reach 2300 before giving us the control. So you can see that we are getting close to it. And then you will get the message here as always that you can hold your brake for three seconds to take control. And in the meantime, once you have this message, you will be able to select anything you need. So basically right now, I can start looking at my checklist. I can start modifying my, my flight plan, whatever I want to do. And when I'm, once I'm ready, I can just hold the brake for three seconds. One, two, and three. I have the control and again, I can just arm the approach. And as you can see, we are on a 30 degrees intercept for the ILS-04 with correct sensing. Everything has been set. This time, the power management has been set to cruise as we are not yet on the final configuration. The gear has been raised up. The flaps are up. So basically, 
everything is set and you just have to fly your approach for the second time within uh, two minutes. That's it, guys. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below or you can join the Discord channel or the forum. I'll be very pleased to answer any of your questions. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel and I see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.